hi guys welcome to the channel I'm sorry this video took a little while I was kind of I had an issue with my eyes let's just say it <laughs> anyway that being said this is the talent and deep talent video the full detailed guide video will be out I think a couple days after this one and after that will be the combat video explaining how to use this class because I will first have to use the class in arena please pay attention there is a lot to talk about for this class as the class has uh, a, a, lot, a lot a lot of potential it is very complex to use this class has two stands like the blade master with his meteor blade and the odachi and the i think the reaper with the cat's form and the raven's form i just have to explain this to, so you can understand the talents properly so um you can skip this video i will have some timestamps there you can skip this part if you already know all this so this is the fun this is the kunai stage that we are in right now this red skills they are all kunai stage you have your fox you have your flame and you have your fusion blade you can see the kunai right here and when you switch to this stage you are using the fan everything you do uses the fan and you see yeah that that's the fan skill so this is the fan mode the blue is the fan and the red is the kunai stage now that we've understood that we can properly talk about the talent if we go to the talent right here you see i have one two three four builds for this class um yeah just imagine the kunai build is the same as the fan now the hybrid build is something we will come right back to because th this is a lot the hybrid build is for both pvp and pve and it is for people who are like me forget to change between all of this when going into battlegrounds or arena or all those kind of stuff so this build will work for everything again this is not the final hybrid build i will talk about the changes i've made to this when i start talking about the hybrid build so do not take this as exactly what it is so we're going to start with the kunai build first of all there's a lot of whales in this server <laughs> so we have kunai right here kunai remember what i said kunai is the red state so for the s level talent you're going to use the fusion blade and um, this is pretty good it's going to help you deal a lot of damage especially if you combine it with your ex falling moon now how does this s level talent help you deal damage it's because this is the fusion blade right here and it deals you can see there's 2.8 million damage with each of its hits and that is five seconds cooldown now if you use the ex falling moon that's this ex here and tie it together with this a level talent you are going to be spamming a lot of that five seconds cooldown it's gonna drop drastically to about three seconds or so you're gonna be spamming it a lot and that is 2.8 million damage minimum every two seconds or so and you have a high chance of frocking the ninja max and dealing a true damage so these two go well together for the fusion blade and then for strategic playstyle you have your b level talent fusion blade for invisibility every time you use this skill so with that you won't be targeted by your opponent and finally you have the c level talent explosion zone this is just to help you deal a lot more damage in your kunai state you are also going to want to use your fan state i will explain this more in the detailed um, combat video but i'll just give you a showcase quickly so this is how it's going to work you're going to start with the fox and then if you're not using the ex you're going to start with the fox and teleports to your opponent and after that you're going to use this blaze skill and then fusion blade but if you are using the ex you're going to definitely start with the fox and then teleport to your opponent put this and the, the bleed fusion blade bleed fusion blade blade fusion blade blade fusion blade just do that as much as you can as fast as you can and then teleport away do not be afraid to you know step back from deals and well while all these are on cooldown you tap this fan drag it away from your opponent teleport away so i'm going to explain deeper in the um, combat guide how to do all this and show it because by then i would have some clips about it in arena so basically in this blue state all you're going to use here is that and then you have this to teleport away from your opponent if they get too close to you and you have all this to run away so that's that's basically it you switch back again and you go invisible vision blade this vision blade this if this is on cooldown you use just this so that that's basically what you want to do with this red skill state and the talent and this is the talent for that state that being said ex our advice for you will be falling moon for every of the build you use falling moon is the ex you should choose 
and yes that includes even when using the fan state instead of the kunai now if you want to go with the fan state well, i don't really advise it that much but it is it is very good <laughs> the fan state is very good for the fan all you got to do is use this and um, this i think you will want this one and instead of fusion blade you have this and instead of this you have exactly so this is the fan build but um the fan is a little more complicated to be strategic with than the kunai build but for both the kunai and the fan build you will want to have this if if you want to change anything you you will want to change the s level talents to this it works great for both of them and what it exactly it does is once you switch to this you immediately get super ammo kind of like the vision years unlimited super ammo the problem with this super ammo is it is written there that this super ammo cannot be dispelled but you still get stunned by the shadow fencer so this is very very annoying if you want to counter that i will advise you use royal fire so with royal fire and all that on you you will get stunned less by the shadow fencer although your dps will be reduced a lot because royal fire doesn't deal that much um, crazy damage and you do not want to be anywhere near the shadow fencer but that that is it being said this is getting <laughs> from a talent build this is becoming something else so this is it for the kunai and the fan um, this is the pve build is basically a combination of both fusion blades that the kunai state and the fan state and it also works if you are going in a team now if you are going in a team this is you want to use this s level talent nether fusion but if you are going solo then um, you could either go with this one but but this is still kind of nice i'm not gonna lie <laughs> uh, but it is, doesn't really work that well against monsters so you could go with the uh, red for pve and the other ones work pretty well as well for pve so it's, it's all up to you and your choice if you are using fusion blade more or um you know the fan state but this is great this is great for pve if you're going in a group again use this if you are going in a group it's gonna be quite helpful for other people as well especially those who are not strong enough to survive dungeons and stuff and finally we have your team build this is for ladder of honor this is for battlegrounds if you are if you have a team or your body with you in battlegrounds and you decide to go together so this works great for you guys in battlegrounds so s level talents here nether fusion is gonna help your teammates stay alive a lot more this is also helpful for bombs and then for a level talent you have void of disruption right here so what this does is it gives you damage bonus and damage reduction so this this pretty good then the b level talent we have attack defense balance this is great but if you want to switch between this you can always go to um, fusion blade this is helpful for you being a little more stealthy so you could use this if you want to be stealthy but this this works well and finally we have the c level talent fortnite admonition <laughs> this is one of the best talents uh, this class has like basically this. because it has the reaper fear it has the petrify of the dragon cocoons and also the illusionist and you have your healing band this this is basically terrible news for soul dancers and for some assassins as well so this this works pretty well for a team battle because all you got to do is just throw this and as long as those people step on it those your opponents step on it there's a high chance they can receive any of those debuffs and it works quite a lot this works great for pvp group pvp and finally the hybrid build now remember this is for those who forget to change between any of these kind of like me and also keep in mind that when making this hybrid build i had to take into account um, free to play paid win um, team events battlegrounds and all that this works for all of them okay but i have to explain if you want to change anything these are the things you will change or you should change okay so the s level talent meta fusion pretty great if you are deciding to be a support or go for your team you know this helps your teammates a lot for a lot of unknown backgrounds and stuff this is great and even if you are solo the damage of your blasting winds is still quite increased also the time lock effect is <laughs> it's wonderful this is stunning and increased damage but if you want to switch this you can always go for the extremes this is the only thing i think you should switch it from in this hybrid view because this works for both the fan state and the ninja state then for the a level talent you want to have ex fallen moon this is still great again you're going to keep using this ex i will explain why later and for the b level talent you have this if you want to switch this again you can always switch from here to here this won't work well in um pve 
because it won't deal damage but it depends on how you use it there as well but it works well for pvp single pvp group pvp this works great for it but if you don't want that if you want more damage for things like clash of swords and stuff then you can use this although i have not tested this class out in clash of swords and finally this sea level talent we have fourth right admonition this is a very good one for you guys so if you want to switch this you can always switch it to explosion which helps with your fusion so this will give you more dps in your fusion state this is more dps in your fusion state this is more dps in your fan state that's the blue skill and this is more dps in both states or buffs in both state rather so it's just all to you now this is one thing you can use if you want to switch anything again i have explained everything you can switch portrait admonition is the best c-level talent for now for this class if in my opinion um, because of the stuns especially if you are playing strategic or if you are going pure dps this is great but for me i think i like this one for the hybrid build uh, now out of everything else here if you want to change b level talent to fusion blade for strategy attack defense balance for dps if you want to change anything else again s level talent the extremes for strategy nether fusion for dps and assist so, so this is basically um the build you want to use i think that explains everything now why i said you should use ex falling moon instead of scorching gold is basically because um, falling moon auto locks on your opponent when using it and uh, apart from the buffs it gives you it, it is pretty great then scorching gold you have to move close to your opponent to use it and you, um, your opponent can actually just escape from it it's, it's not that big of stuff especially if you're fighting another um, yasai user they can just escape from it uh, so it's not that great actually uh, it, it is a good idea but if it had a lock-in feature of um, the illusionist cage it would have been better so now for the deep talent this is it right here this is the deep talent i'm using the main focus here is the center is to get all the way to the critical damage increase if you are the level 170s and above this is where you're going for oh, just unlock all this so I only put one here just just so I could unlock this. <laughs> now the red section has a lot of skills or talents that I don't really think are that great. Uh, this is helpful if you want to focus on fusion blade, but the hybrid build doesn't focus on that. So all, if you focus on fusion blade and less on the fan, then you will want to remove some of this, and you know put them into the fan especially something like this you can want to remove all five of that and put them here but i don't focus only on the fusion blade so all of this i, I don't really care much about them now if you are below the level 170s um this is going to depend on your play style you just use the class a little and figure out which one you think is more important for you in your strategy then pour more into them for the blue this is one of the most important one you can unlock for your blue it's, it's very important talent this is also great but it's not as useful as this one flame mastery very important for the blue state and for the red uh definitely this one is one of the best for you because you, you want to be using fusion blade a lot so it increases your dps by it but the game itself advises you if you look at it it decreases damage taken when in the fan dance form so it advises you to go more hybrid when using this class not just stick to one stuff so anyway that's the talent the talent of this class i tried explaining some of them i'm sorry let me know if i shouldn't talk more i should just show you guys it and you guys will figure it out yourself or if you're all right with me explaining them the way i'm explaining and that'll be it for the video <laughs> don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel for more content if you have any questions comments suggestions or requests please drop them down there in the comment section i read all of them i'll respond to you if needed or make a video if necessary remember this is just a talent and deep talent video for this class there will be a detailed guide video coming out and after that will be the arena and then the combat video for this class so stay tuned guys and i hope you've enjoyed this video <laughs> Again, thank you so much for watching. Have a very good day.